Thank you for tuning in to Big City Chronicles. We're out here at Big City Park with the fantastic Rebecca Staub. How are you doing, Rebecca? Excellent. We are so delighted to have you here. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Well, Rebecca, I know you, of course, best from your role as the Invisible Woman, Susan Storm, from the Fantastic Four movie. But I also know you have quite a, a resume of film and uh, television work. Yeah, I've, I've had a very fortunate career. I've been doing this 20 odd years. I'm not going to get mathematical <laughs> about it. But uh, yeah, everything, yeah, from film and nighttime TV, daytime. It's been, uh, you know, I've done all the CIS, NCIS, is anything with letters in it. Oh, okay. And uh, i got a busy week ahead, so maybe there'll be a few more things to report if we, oh. if we check back in a week or two. <laughs> That's exciting. Carl, as we were getting ready for shooting, I recall you mentioning something about uh, soap operas. Yeah, I've had a long history. I've, that's where I very first started, was way back on ABC on Loving and then was on Guiding Light and then took off a ton of years and did. That's when I really did the, the bulk of my uh, nighttime TV and film. And then I was back on Port Charles, but then that was kind of the first of many to end up uh, getting canceled that networks have really cut down on. But uh, yeah, but I'm still, there, there's all kinds of stuff going on, especially with cable expanding. And you know, what, what's neat is that there's, there's a lot of, you know, sci-fi and futuristic. And, and so yeah, as, as an actor, yeah, so as, as an actor, it's, it's fun because there's always things with, with a little bit more special flair to them than just, just the average. Yeah, well, we're all about yeah. the sci-fi and the superhero. Yeah. So was Invisible Woman, was that the, the first superhero role that you played? It was, and it's still uh, to this day the only one. So it was. It's, it's a. It's nice to be, you know, the first. It was funny because when they ended up doing the later film, I've had experiences with the other actors that were in the later films. Actually, I used to live on the beach in Malibu, and Michael Chiklis was my neighbor. So when I met him. I'm like, uh, I was the first Susan Storm. He's like, Whoa. oh, gives me a big. So even to this day, he still calls me Sue. Whenever oh. he sees me, he's like, hey, Sue. And then uh, I worked with um, uh, Dr. Doom. Uh, I was working on Nip Tuck. Oh, yeah. And, yes. and uh -huh. Julian and I had, you know, one of those very Nip Tuck scenes in his Whoa. office. And it was funny because then during a break, they said he was taking off, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he was going up to Canada to shoot a film. And I'm like, well, what are you shooting? He said, Fantastic Four. And I was like, who are you? And he's like, yeah. Dr. Doom. I'm like, I'm oh. Sue Storm. So it's kind of funny. Then we had to go back to making out. Oh. So anybody who really oh. knows, who really knows the nip tuck scene, there's that whole thing that, oh, you know, it's like la. Dr. Doom and uh, Sue Storm now we together, <laughs> which, you know, which wasn't bad. That's exciting. Yeah. So no. yeah, so it's, it's really kind of a small world. And, and with the new one that they're, uh, that they're coming out with, like the prequel, prequel, that'll, that'll be interesting to see. But yeah, it's neat to have been the, the first Susan Storm, and a lot of people, when we were shooting the movie, we had no idea that 20 years later it would have this kind of a following. We knew that it would be a big film for the fans, and the fact that it was never released, in a weird way, gave it a kind of life and a fire mm -hmm. that, that's really, really kept it uh, on, on the front burner. Mm -hmm. So when I go to the shows, or, you know, I mean, people still write to me and, you know, oh, that's and one autographs and, and copies of the film so mm -hmm. yeah so it's really neat that I'm still recognized from that and it's nice that that they've gone on to do the other films because it really even though we're not in it it, it keeps the first one relevant yeah well that's how we know you we know you as the invisible woman and yeah. we are delighted to have you so now you're in another superhero film yes yeah, now my, my second superhero film. that's exciting we are delighted to have you yes and I'm, and I'm delighted you're wearing blue as well. You know, blue is the color of Surge, too, not just the Fantastic Four. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Rebecca, for joining us. Tune in again to Big City Chronicles. And in the meantime, make a difference where you can.